so in this example, we're being asked to find the perimeter and area of the triangle given the vertices. Okay, so let's talk about how we're going to do this. Now, before we start, it may be useful to go ahead and draw this triangle out in space so we can get a better representation of what our triangle actually looks like. So I'm just going to go ahead and plot these vertice points out in space. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have the following, we have two comma two, so we'll just put that right here, so be two comma two, and then we'll say that this is going to be four comma six, and then this will be five comma two. Okay, so we can see that we have a triangle with the general shape that will look like this. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and draw that in. And we can actually put our coordinates right next to each one of our vertices, so this is going to be two comma two, this is four comma six, and this is going to be five comma two. All right, and what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna go ahead and label my vertices. I'm gonna call this A, B, and C. So we can go ahead and just put this on the triangle. This is A, this is going to be B, and this is C. Okay, so we have triangle ABC here. Now. They want us to find the perimeter and the area. So our first step is to find the perimeter, right? In order to do that, we have to know the side lengths of our triangle, right? And we don't have those. We're only provided the coordinates of the vertices. So how are we going to do this? Well, first we're going to use the distance formula, right? And if you forget what that is, that's the following. So distance formula equals, and we're gonna have here in parentheses, we have the square root and then we have x2, minus x1, this will be squared, plus y2 minus y1 squared. Okay, so that's the distance formula. So we're going to have to do this on three separate occasions, right? We're going to have to find distance a to b, a to c, and b to c. Okay, so let's go ahead and find distance a, b. Okay, so we're going to get the square root of. Now, in order to do this, we need to assign our values. So I'm just going to keep this simple. I'm going to call this x1, y1. This will be x2, y2. All right, plugging this in, x2 is going to be 4. So we get 4 minus our x1, which is going to be 2 squared, plus our y2, which is 6, minus our y1, which is 2. Okay, so let's continue on. Distance a... B equals the square root of, let's go ahead and simplify what we have underneath the square root. 4 minus 2 is going to be 2, and then 2 squared is 4. 6 minus 2 is 4, okay, and then 4 squared is 16, so we have plus 16. So distance A, B equals the square root of 20, all right. And what we can do here is we can break this down, right? We can continue to simplify it. So if I have the square root of 20, just using prime factorization, we know that, well, 4 times 5, okay, will be 20. Then this is prime, but we can continue on with 4. This will be 2 and 2. We have a pair here. This is going to come out. So essentially, distance AB is going to be, we're going to take out a 2, and... Our prime here, which is 5, doesn't have a pair. It stays underneath the square root, so 2 square roots of 5. All right, so that is going to be distance AB. So at this point, we want to go ahead and record that. So distance A to B is going to equal 2 square root of 5. All right, let's continue on. We have to do this two more times. So let's erase this, and let's do the next one. So let's do B to C now. So we'll do distance B to C. So distance B to C equals the square root of. Now let's go ahead and plug this in. So again, I'm going to call this X1, Y1. This will be X2, Y2. All right, so X2 here is going to be 5 minus our X1, which is 4. It will be squared plus our Y2, which is 2 minus our y1, which is going to be 6 here. Okay, squared, let's continue on, distance b to c equals, so let's go ahead and do this out, 5 minus 4, is going to be 1, 1 squared is 1. Okay, 2 minus 6 is going to give us negative 4, negative 4 squared is going to give us 
16. So we have plus 16. Okay, so essentially we're just going to have distance B to C is equal to the square root of 17. And we can't break that down any further, so we're just going to leave that as is. Okay, so distance B C is going to be the square root of 17. All right, one more, and then we're done. Let's go ahead and erase this. So let's do A to C now. So distance A to C. And let's go ahead and assign our values. We'll call this x1, y1 to be x2, y2. Okay, so x2 in this case is going to be 5 minus x1, which is going to be 2, squared plus. Okay, now we're going to have y2, which is going to be 2, minus our y1, which is going to be 2. Right, squared, so distance AC equals the square root of, so we're going to get 5 minus 2 here. That gives us 3, and 3 squared is 9. And then 2 minus 2 is just 0, 0 squared is 0. So essentially we have here the square root of 9, which we know is just going to be 3. All right, so distance AC is going to be 3. So we have all of our lengths now of the triangle, right? We have all three side lengths. So what we're going to do at this point is we're simply just going to add them up, and that is going to give us the perimeter of this triangle. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to say 2 square root of 5 plus the square root of 17, and then plus 3. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this out in our calculator. So we get 2 square root of 5 plus the square root of 17 and then plus 3. Okay, and we get the following. I'm going to go ahead and round this. We get 11.595. I'm just going to go ahead and round this to 11.6. And we are not provided any units here, so I'm just going to say 11.6 units. Okay, that is going to be the perimeter of our triangle. All right, so what we can do is go ahead and record that. So I'll record this down here. I'm going to say triangle and then subscript P for perimeter. So T subscript P, and this is going to be 11.6 units. Okay. All right, that is step one. We just found the perimeter. Now, let's move on to the area, right? And for the area, we're going to have to use something called Heron's formula. All right, so let's erase this. And we have talked about Heron's formula in the past. Okay, but if you forget, we can go ahead and write that right up here. So using Heron's formula to find the area of a triangle, this can be used when you know all three side lengths. So that formula is going to be the following. So again, this is Heron's formula. You're going to have the square root of... And then we're going to have S, and then we're going to have S minus A times S minus B, and times S minus C. So let's talk about this. A, B, and C, that represents your side lengths of your triangle. Okay? S here is going to represent the semi-perimeter, or half of the perimeter. So S, in this case, is going to equal half of my perimeter. So my perimeter is 11.6, okay, we get here 5.8, so that's what S is going to be, that's the semi-perimeter. So S here is 5.8, we need that for Heron's formula, again that's S. So let's go ahead and plug this in now. So the area of our triangle is going to be the following, we're going to get the square root of, and we'll try to fit this in, we're going to get 5.8. Okay, then we're going to get 5.8 minus A. So, what you want to do here is you want to go to angle A, which is right here. And side A is going to be directly opposite to that. So, right here. So, in this case, that's going to be side length B to C, which is the square root of 17. Okay, then we're going to continue on. 5.8 minus B. Again, you go to angle B. Opposite to that will be side B, so that's going to be side length AC. Right here, so minus 3. Okay, then one more, we get 5.8 minus, and now it looks like we have side C. So we're going to go to angle C, 
opposite the angle C will be side C, so again, that's going to be A to B, which is right here, 2 square root of 5. 2 square root of 5. Alright, and what we're going to do here is plug this into our calculator and figure out what this area of the triangle is going to be. Again, we're doing this using Heron's formula. Okay, and plugging this in, we can go ahead and round this. We get 6.013. I'm just going to round it to 6. Okay, so we just figured out what the area is going to be here. It's going to be about 6, right? And again, this will be units squared, okay? And again, we did round these, so technically we should say about here. So the perimeter of the triangle is going to be about 11.6 units. And then we're going to say triangle area. So again, T subscript A. And we're going to say about, because we did round, we're going to say 6 units squared. Okay? So here's our second answer. Right? So we have both the perimeter and area of this triangle, all right, and that is it.